How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the vlog. Once again, we're here with Julian Placino. What's happening? So Julian, besides <clears throat> his building his own brand with Pathways to Success and so many other things, um, his core strength um, for years now is hiring, is recruiting, and I, I've been really interested um, for a couple of years now on the use of video in the hiring process, both from the employee standpoint, somebody trying to get a job and stand out to the employer's side of things. And it's something that I think a lot of people who use video and are in that world think it's a no brainer that like the, there should be using that more than it is. Mm -hmm. And so I've been curious to get your perspective on why it hasn't been used as much and, and is that changing? Do you want to start from the candidate perspective or yeah, from the, the company candidate. perspective? Okay, Let's so, start from the candidate perspective so yeah. on how to, <clears throat> Because I, I would think it would be a great tool to stand yep. out mm -hmm. and get seen. I think, <laughs> and so, so I've been in recruiting and staffing now for the past 11 years, and that's the bulk of my professional corporate experience is helping people find jobs and also hiring for companies. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've seen a lot of different ways that people have used to get attention to themselves to get considered for a job, right? And the truth of the matter is I've seen it both ways. I've seen videos serve the candidate, and I've seen videos that haven't served the candidate. The videos that have served the candidate, it's because it's been done well. It was planned, it was clear, it was concise, it represented the individual in a positive light. If it's done well, it can help as a part of your overall job seeking strategy, right? You shouldn't yep. just rely on that. When it hasn't served the candidate, it's because it's been shot with, with a bad camera, a weird background, and it starts to look a little silly. Because it's, mm. it's, it's very, it, the border is so like tiptoeing between something like amazing versus corny, you know what I mean? <laughs> so if it's done well, and I know that's very subjective, and if you decide to put in a video, make sure to get feedback on it before you start sending mm. it to people who could hire you. So. So what? So give me an example of <clears throat> of, of done well, because I would guess mm -hmm. that it's something maybe very similar to this kind of setup, a very um, simplistic but professional looking. Yeah. And 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 then what what is somebody saying? Are they are they simply sort of doing a video version of their resume, or should they take it a <clears throat> step or two? closer to, to a human level and interaction. Take it way above that, right? So okay. just shooting a video resume is not enough. Like the best, most effective job seeker out there doesn't see themselves as a job seeker, but a problem solver. Mm -hmm. If you decide to put in a video resume, get to know this company, get to know them, do your research, understand their pain points, understand the job that you are looking for, right? Mm -hmm. And then come at it as a solution to their problem and pitch your value. Start with the results that you've created and why those results are, are relevant to the needs of their business, right? So don't just talk about your credentials and how great you are, talk about how you can help them and be specific. Oh, that's great. And see, that's something that I think is, can be so powerful with, mm -hmm. with video too, is that you can really cater to that individual, to that, um, individual company that you're applying for. And maybe it's you pick five or six that you really want, you know, and you, you when you add that research in and you add that customization. Yeah, no, absolutely. Be very targeted about your approach because video is a powerful tool when it's done correctly. So yeah, so talk to me about, uh, about all this though from the employer mm -hmm. standpoint. Uh, I can say that um, it is now starting to be leveraged. There's there's systems out there specifically that employers use, and you know we're out here in the Dallas area, and uh, my wife actually oversees hiring for. Can I say Toyota Connected? Is it oh, okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Toyota Connected. You tell me if it's uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> no, I think Are it you is, in trouble yeah. for me too? <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, but incredible tech company. She oversees hiring for it, and they use uh, a software called HireView. So for all the candidates who applied that they want to do kind of initial screening for, they put them through this process, and part of that process is a video interview is a video interview. And she, as the recruiter, views all of these video interviews um, to see who they want to move forward to the next step in the in-person the in uh, conversation stage. So I can definitely say that really you know, innovative companies are starting to adopt this. Some companies won't have the budget for it and are still doing a lot of just you know resumes, phone interviews, in-person conversations, which is very relevant today. But in terms of scale for like really big companies, I can see how adding video interviews, being able to gauge, to simulate an in-person conversation without meeting someone in person would add value in the hiring process. Oh yeah, and that's where this skill set of doing what we're 
doing right here, right? And, and I'm building, you're building. It's so powerful because you can see that skill set trickling all the way down to someone who's like, hey, I just want a job in corporate America. Mm -hmm. If they can do this, which is a, definitely a skill in and of itself. I mean, I look at, I look at my son, my oldest son, who's 11 years old, and he is just naturally on his own, just like he started his YouTube channel and he wants to be on there and just on his own, like, hey, I made a couple of videos, dad. Doesn't, he won't even take my help, much, mm -hmm. <laughs> much less sort of like, hey, do this for me, dad. He's just like off on his own and he's not, and I sort of qualify this all the time when I mention it because he's not um, the kid who's like in drama and like trying to be the center of attention or, or anything, which you would sort of expect from someone who would put themselves on camera. Yeah. But he just does it. He puts himself on camera and talks and, and you know, he'll laugh at himself and, and like this and not, and then just put it out anyway. And I think yeah. that is an amazing skill set to, to be developing, especially at such a, a young age. And, and I think that's exactly the reason why, because it does translate all the way down even to just getting a job in corporate America, if that's the mm -hmm. path that you want to go to. So what I would ask also though is doing what you and I are doing mm -hmm. from an entrepreneurial standpoint could, could that would that be beneficial from someone who isn't entrepreneurial who does just want a well-paying job to get either getting started or continuing or going to that next level in their career mm -hmm. to sort of take you know build their own brand even though they don't want to sell products or services they want to get a job is there, is there value in building that brand? I, th I think it really depends on what their their objective is. Like for example, yeah. if you are, if you don't necessarily want to start a business, but you want to get hired right, like especially with artists, right? Artists have their own personal websites and they also have an advantage in showing the value they can create because they have like artwork, right? And it's like a portfolio. And I wouldn't see anything wrong with creating kind of a, a video introduction of who you are, the work that you've created. Again, it has to be elegantly done and it has to have a clear and concise message, but I could see it. You know, as a recruiter, something that I absolutely do, especially for client facing roles, is searching social profiles, websites, mm. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. What is the content that they're creating? And if I find a piece of content that serves their candidacy, I will absolutely call them up and I'd be excited to do so. And the fact that someone's willing to put themselves out there in front of the camera, which there's there's like a performance quality to it. I think that adds value. Awesome. Absolutely, yeah. Well, that's that's fantastic. That's yeah. that's that's good to hear. Um, it's got to be done the right way, though. You can't just be yeah. amateurish <laughs> about it. It has to serve yeah. your brand and what you're trying to do. Yeah, it's so it's so tricky, it, but but I think it's I think it's worth investing in. I think it's worth going down that road. And trying it and putting it in front of other mm -hmm. people like you say getting that feedback before you ever put that in front of an employer or I don't know maybe put it in front of people you, you don't want to mm -hmm. hire you first <laughs> to yeah no, exactly you know and I'm thinking <laughs> a very specific example also I recently interviewed a candidate and uh, he was interviewed on video mm. and I was and then he sent that over to me as well and I was like oh cool look look I, I get to see him and I also get to experience some of the intangibles because I get to see him on camera and I can imagine how he would present in front of a client. Video really is, to me, it, it is king if it's done well, yeah, man. For nice. sure. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing this. Yeah, no, absolutely. I love being on the show. I love having that, that, that insight um, mm -hmm. for my folks here. So totally. thank you so much. If you like vlogs like this, little episodes, little snippets, full interviews like the Jason Croft Show, make sure you subscribe below and we'll see you on the next one.